The eighth beatitude, the last beatitude, I quote, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 5.10. What does this mean? Well, in his last beatitude, Jesus addresses the reality of persecution for living according to God's righteousness. Those who uphold God's standards and live out their faith may face opposition, hostility, or suffering because of their commitment to righteousness. Jesus promises that those who endure persecution for righteousness will be blessed with the kingdom of heaven, signifying both present and future participation in God's reign. Now, how do we apply these teachings in today's world? Number one, stand firm in your faith. Being persecuted for righteousness means facing challenges because of your commitment to live according to God's principles. What does it mean in today's term? Well, in today's world, you may face criticism, rejection, or even hostility for your beliefs. Now, stand firm in your faith by remaining steadfast in your convictions and not compromising your values, even when it's difficult. Draw strength from prayer, from scripture, from God's words, and the support of your faith community. Number two, responding with grace and love. In today's term, what it means is when you face opposition or hostility, respond with kindness and forgiveness. Avoid engaging in arguments for or retaliating against those who oppose you. Instead, demonstrate Christ's love through your actions and words and pray for those who persecute you. The third learning would be supporting the persecuted. Now, many Christians around the world face severe persecution for their faith. Support persecuted Christians through prayer, through advocacy, and through providing resources. Educate yourself about the challenges they face and raise awareness within your community. Contribute to organizations that assist persecuted believers and stand in solidarity with them. The fourth learning might be living with integrity, meaning upholding righteousness often involves making difficult choices that reflect your commitment to God's standard. In today's term, in your personal and professional life, strive to live with integrity. In this corporate world, it can be quite hard. We know that. Now make ethical decisions, even if they are unpopular or even or come to a, a personal cost. By consistently living out our faith, you can set an example and inspire others to pursue righteousness. The fifth learning might be to find joy in suffering for Christ. And what does it mean? Well, Jesus assures us that those who are persecuted for righteousness will be blessed and share in the kingdom of heaven. In, in practical terms, what it means is embracing the joy and peace that comes from knowing your suffering has a purpose and that you are participating in Christ's mission. Reflect on the scripture and, and God's word that provide encouragement and remember that enduring persecution brings you closer to Christ and his promises. The sixth way to learn from this beatitude is building a supportive faith community. A strong community can provide encouragement and support when facing persecution. In practical terms, what does it mean? Surround yourself with, with a faith community that encourages and supports each other in living out God's righteousness. Doing these reels and broadcasting it is one way of sharing God's word. It's a virtual community. And, and engage in regular fellowship, either virtual or in person. In prayer groups, for instance, virtual or in person. Together, virtual or in person, you can stand firm against opposition and support one another in times of trial. So in summary, the eight beatitude highlights the blessing of enduring persecution for righteousness, promising the kingdom of heaven to those who remain steadfast. In today's world, we can apply this by standing firm in our faith, responding with grace and love, supporting the persecuted, living with integrity, finding joy in suffering for Christ, and building a supportive faith community. By doing so, we not only uphold God's standards, but also experience His blessings and advance His kingdom amidst opposition in this world. Amen.